at Chris. Always great to have you in this run up to the market close. What do you make at the moment of this on again, off again risk sentiment? It's confusing. It just is nuts that we go from one side to the other really quick. Um, and I think this market it's priced to perfection, and if I look outside the window, life is not perfection. So um, my team just started getting a little nervous about this equity market in the last couple of weeks. Doesn't mean we're going to be underweight, but we're certainly not going to be overweight uh, um, until and going into the fall, and especially going into Jackson Hole on Friday. Well, let's talk about Jackson Hole uh, this weekend, Chris. Uh, the expectations. I guess, to put it mildly, seem to be relatively low. The general idea is that they might not say anything, they shouldn't say anything, and that uh, maybe the market is put, pinning their hopes a little bit too much on something that could turn out to be a non-event. I, I get the feeling Mike McKee is going to be parsing <laughs> words and vowels and nouns because I really, the, the market is not expecting anything, which is always a bit dangerous because something could happen. But I just don't expect it. Uh, the, the data is not helpful at this point. Uh, the virus is continuing to spread. Uh, you know, they say, uh, and Powell says, that inflation is transient. Uh, we're still seeing sticky signs of inflation, but that doesn't mean they're going to jump in and make any kind of a statement. Uh, I thought Bullard's statements at the start of the week were probably the most indicative of what they might say, and he didn't open the window. So I think it's going to be pretty quiet on Friday. Chris, you mentioned transient inflation, and I am curious what the data is showing and then how, of course, you shift a long-term portfolio in anticipation or reaction to some of the transient or not inflationary data points. Taylor, tough question. You know, we've got an inflation-sensitive asset class, um, but it's only going to be about, right now, it's only 4% of our portfolio growing to 7 which isn't enough to protect against inflation if it really comes back. I, I just, I feel inflation. Uh, I know CPI doesn't measure it, but boy, I'm feeling it. Uh, I can't disagree with Jay Powell. I mean, he's the man. So if he mm -hmm. says it's going to be transient, we're seeing some prices come down on raw materials. Labor and things are calming down. But boy, we're having a steady 2 to 3% inflation rate that people live. You guys reported on housing prices and rents going up constantly. That's pretty sticky when rents go up. So We'll see, I just, but I don't think it's gonna impact the Fed. I think they're gonna be happy, as they said, with letting inflation yeah. go up above two if it does.